Now this is typically one of those questions which students just jump into and they start changing in, um, all of the angles uh, in our first step into positive acute and simple uh, second step trying to make everything into cause and sign or actually cause or sign but um, it's <laughs> not cause cause or sign and then they realize but man I'm not gonna manage let me quickly show you why let's say sine 2 Z can only be 2 sine Z cause Z okay for one now on this this side we have a compound angle so in other words to um, to change this one we can maybe make it or we can make it cause Z cause negative 18 or 18 plus causes the same um, uh, different signs same ratios plus but then that negative multiplies the plus so it also becomes negative sine z sine 18 and and here we run into into problems and I'll tell you why because okay so maybe this here we have sine z and there we have sine z but to get this this expression to be just sine and and add with that expression where we have a sine z and this this is really a mess you will see some tremendous miracles when students do these questions because they get to manage really uh, incredible feats of changing these things not ever correctly so I want to show you that it is much much simpler than that and we've already explained how it works this is now just an example but when I notice that I uh, that I have a sign on the one side and a cos on the other side the f the all I need to do is change the cos into sine by adding 90 degrees inside why is that again because sine of theta plus 90 degrees or 90 degrees plus theta that's maybe what you'll recognize sine 90 degrees plus theta is equal to cos of theta in other words notice what I what I do to go from cos to sine we have our angle inside plus another 90 degrees okay so in other words to change this cos into a sign we must add 90 degrees inside before we do let's just see if we have one problem we have a negative in front of this cos okay we have a negative in front of that cos but we'll change that in just a moment okay first let's change that cos into a sign so we have sine of 2z is equal to negative and this one now changes to sine of z minus 18 degrees plus 90 degrees I only add a 90 degrees in side okay now to get what what we actually want is we want a trig ratio equal to the same trig ratio and when the angles are different um, that's okay because we're going to use one of those two angles as our reference angle but before we can get do that we must get rid of that negative now sine is negative in the fourth quadrant okay where all of the angles inside here are negative in other words to change that negative here we must change all of these angles to be negative so in other words sine of 2z is equal to sine and now we just change all of these um, signs in here so this becomes negative z this one is 90 degrees minus 18 degrees that gives me what 72 and seven that's positive 72 will become negative 72 degrees okay and here we have sine of something is equal to sine of something else and that must mean that this and that is equal and it is but it's not just equal to each other they can also be equal to um, 
that plus the, the, the period. So what I'm going to do rather is choose one of these two. doesn't matter which one. I'm going to choose my reference angle to be one of those two angles. I'm going to choose 2z. You can choose any one. It doesn't matter. So now I have that my general solution is the other angle. So if I chose this to be my reference angle, this must be the object of my formula. So negative z, I'll do that, minus 72 is equal to my reference angle 2z plus 360 degrees times k. Okay, and now I solve for z. To solve for z, we have to subtract 2z on both sides. Okay, subtract 2z on both sides. I get negative uh, 3z. Okay, add the 72 on both sides. 72 plus 72 on both sides. So I get 3z is equal to 72 plus 360 degrees times k and finally everything must be divided with a negative 3 divide with a negative 3 and that means z is equal to um, 3 goes in there 24 times okay so negative 24 degrees and now here 360 divided by 3 gives me 120 it should be negative 120 degrees times k but since k takes on positive and negative values it doesn't really matter I keep it to be a positive okay so I keep it as a positive and now the period for this solution would be every 120 degrees it's not my only solution though I've got another solution because I was working with sine okay they were sine the second solution is negative z minus 72 is equal to 180 degrees minus my reference angle which in this case was negative 2z plus 360 times k and at this point I continue with um, uh, solving this this time I have to add a 2z on both sides okay add the 2z on both sides and add the 72 degrees on both sides to get the z and the constants on the other side so I get negative z plus 2z just gives me z that's great so I already have z is equal to now 180 plus 72 gives me 252 degrees plus 360 degrees times k and that is my the second part of my solution and that's it okay that is the general solution to this equation you can see why it's called a complex trick equation it's not simple okay and it's going to take some practice and but the more you practice the quicker you will recognize it when you see it on a paper see you in the next video